morning and welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That's right, just in time to meet another campground. Another beautiful Corps of Engineer campground. Last week I introduced you to Lake Sam Rayburn, Sam Rayburn Reservoir. And we explored Twin Dykes campground. Well, this week I've traveled to the other side of the lake and we, I'm going to introduce you to another beautiful, and this may actually turn out to be one of my top five Corps of Engineer campgrounds. It's also on Sam Rayburn Reservoir, and this is <laughs> Rayburn Park. I always say, you, you don't know what you don't know, and I didn't know what I didn't know, and knowing what I know now, I should have been here. Of course, they don't, there's, they don't have cabins. So I'm gonna deploy a little red, and we're gonna go explore this beautiful campground. I'm gonna show you the stuff. Not a whole lot of stuff here, but it's definitely worth seeing. So let me get a little red out and we'll go, we'll go see the stuff. So if you're thinking about a trip to Rayburn Park and you're gonna have some little ones with you, you'll be happy to know they actually have a playground here. Unlike uh, where I'm currently set up, uh, unlike Twin Dykes, they have no playground there, but here they've got a great one. They got swings, so you can, and those are the best kind of swings because you can go real high and jump off and you don't have to, this is nice and soft, mulched rubber, rubber mulch. It's kind of accessible, so you can get a wheelchair over the curb. Uh, not any way to get a wheelchair up the platform, but it's a little easier than not. Not exactly sure what these are. Oh, they spin around. <laughs> but right now you'd get a, a wet butt. And there's a place to have a picnic. While the kids are playing under the shade of these beautifully, beautiful, beautiful pine trees. All right. Been designed for children 5 to 12 and requires users to have sufficient strength and coordination. Okay. Let's go see some more stuff. Well, now my boat ramp fans will be happy to know they actually have a very nice boat ramp set up. There's a two-laner there. I have it on good authority from the, the lady that was at the gate when I rolled through. She said there's no fee to use the boat ramp here, unlike some of the other boat ramps here on the lake. So there's a, they get a lot of, a lot of people coming and putting their boats in the water and then going back over to other campgrounds, other parks. Two lanes here, so there's four lanes. You can get a lot of boat ramp activity like that. There's one other thing I wanted to point out while we're here. And that's that point. That would be a cool place to camp. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Let's go see some more Rayburn stuff. There's one restroom facility out here. It's got four showers. There's one that's dedicated for the handicap. Well, that's interesting. Now you know. Hey, you know the the bath restroom side of the facility is just pretty much like all these other all the Corps of Engineer cement block house facilities. Right next to that there's a sign that says on the other side. Enjoy a toy, then please return. 
Doesn't look like anybody's returned the toys. <laughs> All right, let's go see some more Rayburn stuff. The lady that was manning the gate when I rolled through told me that this fall they're going to be closing the park for renovation. When I rolled in here, I thought, there, there's a couple of things that I saw that, yeah, okay, maybe, maybe that's why. But uh, this is a very clear indicator of why they're going to renovate. I can't even ride Little Red across the pad. <laughs> Let's go find one that's smooth. There are about a dozen pull-through sites here at Rayburn Park that have 50, 30, and water. Of those dozen pull-through sites, there are right now maybe three that are not rooted up from the big pine trees. It is August 30, 22. If you're watching it, it in 23 or beyond, this is uh, the, the pad information is out of date because they'll have been here and renovated by then. All right, let's go see something else. Rayburn Park features, Rayburn Campground features a number of waterside back end sites. Big, beautiful shade trees. Pine trees, not so much shade tree, but pine trees. Pine trees give you shade. Can a pine tree be a shade tree? I guess it depends on where it is sitting. Lakeside access. Doesn't mean that it's easy to get to the water. We are on a point So right across from us is the dam. And you have the Angelina River coming in from here. And then some kind of slough or bayou or something coming in from that direction. Rayburn is one of the larger lakes in the state of Texas. But it's, it's kind of weird the way it's laid out. Big Y shape. Of course, a lot of the man-made reservoirs here in Texas are Y-shaped because they're finding the optimum point to dam up the water. We'll cruise down here and take a look at the ideal sunset campsite. Now, I don't want to be intrusive because someone is in the ideal sunset campsite. But we'll spin it around here and just take a gander as we roll by. Right now we are pointed west, looking out over the lake. What a great campsite. All right, let's go see some more Rayburn stuff. If sunrises are your thing and, and you don't require power and water, site number 60, is what you're looking for right on the water of course you got the riprap that's going to make it difficult to get down to the water but every morning you're going to have a beautiful sunrise so right now i'm in the primitive loop it may not it, you know it may not be a primitive loop when you're watching this but right now it's the primitive loop it's on the east side of rayburn park And these are, these are just beautiful sites. Plenty, lots of, lots of great places to pitch a tent too. And there's that one way down there by the, right on the riprap. And that's, that's your sunset view. Now, I didn't, I didn't, get an explanation when I was coming through the gate I, I had had a bit of a conversation she didn't mention this the closed off areas now I presume that goes back out to the main road there's a restroom back in there maybe 
when they do that renovation this fall and winter, that'll be open to back up. All right, let's go see what else we can find at Rayburn Park. So do, do we really want to, dare we? Do we really want to know what it looks like? Not really. It's rather pungent. This is in the tent camping primitive loop. You're gonna wanna make the trip over to the more modern facility. This visit to Rayburn Park has been sponsored by RV Mattresses by Brooklyn Bedding. Use the link in the description below and in the card above rvmattresses.com backslash dude rv click on that link find your mattress they have got you they have got a mattress for you find your mattress use the code dude rv and they're going to give you oh, a sweet discount in addition to that their mattresses are made right here in the good old us of a they're going to give you a free shipping i'm going to charge you for it you get a 120 night trial so you can sleep on that bed for 120 nights, three months. And if you don't like it, you get your money back. If you decide to keep it, you have a 10 year warranty. How cool is that? Use the link, use the code, dude RV, save some money. All right, let's go see some stuff. Rayburn Park, actually, this, this is a first. I'm at the dump station. Now the dump station is, is nothing to really brag about. Uh, it looks like it serves the purpose. You don't have a curb getting in your way on either side. There's flush out. But what catch, caught my eye is the soap. You never see hand washing. For, uh, uh, there's no place to wash your hand at, at most of your dump stations. And that's the, the campground host that put that there. So... Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Couple more things to see. The forest reclaims its own. This is the other loop that... This is another loop that is closed off. And it's been that way for quite some time. I don't even... I, I see one table. So I don't know if this is a primitive loop or... There's RV pads in there somewhere. I don't know, maybe when you're here, this is open. Post a comment down there and let me know. All right, let's go see what else we can find. So I snuck past a gate. This is the third loop here at Rayburn Park that was that's closed off. And these, these are all primitive sites. And I presume it's closed off because there's not too many people coming out here and camping in a primitive fashion. There's not as many as they thought there would be. There's also a boat ramp for my boat ramp fans. But the main reason I came down here is because I wanted to see this site over here. It's not quite what I was expecting though. You know, I'm always looking for a good sunset campsite. And if, it, if you could park your RV right here on the asphalt, that would put your patio almost perfectly west. All right, let's, let's get out of this loop. I gotta do a scooter run. I have got the coolest gig in the world. I really do. I get to, I get to explore campgrounds. <laughs> Never would have thought that would be a career choice, a career option. Who'd have thought? Anyway, let's talk about Rayburn Park. Lake or Sam Rayburn Reservoir. I keep wanting to say Lake Sam Rayburn, but it's technically Sam Rayburn Reservoir. Man, this is a beautiful little park. 
and I know I say that all, uh, about um, a lot of them. And it's true in every case. I, I wouldn't lie to you. But this one, this one's quiet. I, I can hear a boat motor. There's no highway noise. There's no airports close by. It's just quiet. Which for me, that makes this a destination campground. It's way off the beaten path. So, you know, it's not gonna be a great waypoint for, point stop for you. But if you're traveling north and south, north or south through East Texas, and you find yourself in a close proximity and you got a couple days, yeah, you wanna come visit this one. Uh, especially after they renovate it. It's really going to be good. Now, the park host did tell me this place gets really crowded on holiday weekends and, and during the summer when kids are out. Like that's, that, that's, the, that's the way it is everywhere. Plan ahead. Use you know a tool like campnab.com so that you can, you can nab a great site on a busy weekend. Definitely worth coming out here to see this beautiful park and this beautiful lake. If you have a boat, you really want to come boat Rayburn Lake. This is just, this is awesome. Can't say enough good stuff about it. I do hear a plane. Yeah, I hear a plane. So it's not as quiet as I had thought it would be. But at night, I bet this place is super quiet. But I'm done here. I've shown you all the stuff that there is, and there will be more stuff after this renovation that's coming up. So if, you've, if you're here in this campground after the fact, tell us what changes they've made. How has it improved? So that everybody else that's, watch, that's gonna watch this video will know. We would appreciate that feedback. And if you're with me at this point, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate you following along. If you found some value, give me that thumbs up down there and share me on your social media. That really helps with the algorithm. And, and if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. That really helps. That helps support the channel. And for those of you who have been following along, I mean, really, you see that? Thank you for that opportunity. I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for y'all. Thank you so much for that. And for my patrons. I am most grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear? Oh, don't miss next week. You, you're gonna wanna watch next week. We're headed over to St. Augustine Park on Rayburn Lake. You're gonna wanna see that one too. I'll catch you next week. Actually, I'll see you on Wednesday when we do the virtual tour here. Click subscribe so you, you, because you want to watch every episode of Dude RV, don't you? <laughs> All right, y'all come back now, you hear?